lovelies. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Yasmin. Thank you so, so, so much for being here. And the fun fact for this video is that I love the TV show Good Trouble. If you guys have seen The Fosters, it's pretty much like a spinoff, but it's pretty much about Callie and Mariana and they like moved up to LA and stuff and you know, you know, and they get into some sort of drama, drama and they're always in some, some, some sort of trouble. So it's a really good show. I've only seen one episode so far, but I really like it so far. So if you guys love The Fosters, then you'll definitely love this TV show. So for today's video, I decided to finally do my product empties because my empties bin is huge. It is full and I keep filling it up and I'm like, I need to film this video soon because it's just starting to overflow and it's starting to stress me out a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna let you know the products that I actually went through and what I repurchased, this and that, you know, usually product, a usual product empties type of video. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. <music> I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling items out from the bin because I don't I don't have a particular order. I'm just taking thin, things out. So the first thing that is in here, I actually finished last night and it is the Biore Free Your Pores uh, Deep Cleaning Pore Strips. I am, uh, I like the charcoal ones better. I feel like they clean out the pores better because when I did this one last night, um, I'm kind of a weirdo when it comes to pore strips. I like to look at the pore strip and see all the crap that was in my pores and stuff. And um, when I went to the mirror to check it out after I had already taken it out, there was still a bunch of like gunk right here and I was able to just scrape it off with my nail. I know it's really gross, but it didn't really fully unclog my pores. It didn't really go deep into the skin, which is really annoying, but I do like the charcoal ones a lot better. So I probably wouldn't repurchase these, but I would repurchase the charcoal ones. Then I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist completely empty. I probably have another one in here. I probably have multiples, but they're all like at the bottom and I don't want, I don't want to go through it. But I love this setting spray. It's really good for setting my powders down. I wouldn't say it's my long lasting setting, set, setting spray. I usually use the Urban Decay setting spray for a longer lasting, you know, makeup. This is really good for like powders and stuff. So I really like this for that. A face wash that I have is the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant 60 Second in Shower Facial. I actually really like this. I didn't, I never got to mention this, but, um, I really like this stuff. It's really nice to exfoliate your skin. My skin looks super radiant, very glowy after I use this. My skin feels so clean after this. I really definitely recommend this. You're supposed to, um, after cleansing, I believe, you massage it into your skin and you're supposed to leave it on there for about 60 seconds or so. And I always feel like a tingly sensation when I have it in there. And um, it's like the steam is supposed to help. The steam from your shower is supposed to help with this. Does that make sense? It's kind of like a little science experiment, but it really cleaned out my face. It felt so good on the skin and um, it's also oil free. It's non-drying and it's hypoallergenic and I love this. This was so good. I would definitely repurchase this. I bought a different bottle that was also from the Positively Radiant, but I'm guessing it's something else. I think it's like a cleanser exfoliator. This is not, it's, it's not the 60 shower, it's not the in shower facial. So I really need to go get that one because this one, Oh, I love this one. It was so good. I definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a exfoliator and you really want something that will really give that glow and that radiance to your skin, I definitely recommend. Another item that is for your skin that I finished, and it's also from the Aveeno Positively Radiant um, line, it is the Max Glow Infusion Drops. I love this stuff. I have my second bottle over there. This is really good. It gives me such a really pretty glow on my face. Like, no joke, you guys. My I... I put my moisturizer on first and then I apply this. I used to mix them together, but I felt like that was kind of weird. So now I just put my uh, moisturizer on first, let that sit for a minute, and then I go in with this and put it like on here, 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 and then I just kind of like blend it into my skin. This feels so nice. It has a very, very slight tackiness to it, just so slightly. It's like not like, I don't really mind it though because I usually use it before I do my foundation and stuff. So it has a very slight tackiness. But I really like this stuff. My skin looks so glowy, so hydrated, so beautiful. I really like this stuff. And what I like about this is that it has Kiwi Complex in it. And Kiwi is really good for the skin. So I definitely uh, have my second bottle. And I'm probably going to or get another one and definitely repurchase this in the future. This is another random product. I've never mentioned toothpaste before. But I really wanted to mention this one. Especially if you're the type of person who really wants a whitening toothpaste that doesn't damage your teeth or like hurts. You know? Does that make sense? Like if your teeth are really sensitive and if you use something a little too strong, it kind of hurts your teeth. This one doesn't hurt my teeth at all. My teeth are pretty sensitive. This is the Crest 3D White. It's a fluoride anti-cavity anti anti -cavity toothpaste 
and it's both and it has stain protection I definitely feel the stain protection I drink a lot of soda and a lot of coffee so my teeth do get stained quite easy but I don't feel like my stains are as harsh anymore since I've been using this I've been using this for a couple months I just bought another two pack because I just ran out so I definitely recommend this toothpaste the only thing I wish is I wish the minty like the you know not the flavor but do you guys know what I mean it was a little stronger. I love my toothpaste to be super, super minty. I just wish it was more minty, but can't complain because this is a really, really great toothpaste. For body wash, I went through the Dove Limited Edition Summer Care Nourishing Body Wash. I actually like this one. Um, it says that it had exfoliating beads in it, which I definitely felt, and it was supposed to uh, moisture the skin, leaving it smooth and naturally glowing skin. I definitely felt this. This body wash, I would definitely repurchase because I did feel the exfoliating beads and it felt so nice on my skin. Like my skin felt so smooth and so soft after I got out of the shower from using this. And this smells really good in my opinion. Like I think it smells good. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a clean floral summery scent. It's not tropical, if that makes sense. It's not like fruity, but it's still like floral summer fresh scent, if that makes sense. But I really like this really 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 good body wash i also decided to insert some candles in here because i've been becoming a candle person lately i don't know what it is but i've been loving candles in my home lately i don't know it makes me feel a little more relaxed for some reason but one candle that i did go through i bought it oh when did i buy it? i think when they when bath and body works was having a sale on their three wick candles and i got this one this one's in the scent sweater weather <gasps> this is so Good. I love this candle, you guys. Like, oh, what? How, how can I explain it? Oh, it has it here. It has fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. I feel like it's very like, it's very like cologne, -y, like cologne. I don't know. It's very cologne scented. I don't know. It smells really good in my opinion. Like, I'm really bad at explaining fragrance. Like, I'm probably the worst person to explain fragrance, but it's very cologne -y and it. In my home, oh, it smells so good. I definitely recommend. I mean, everybody likes Bath and Body Works. She doesn't like Bath and Body Works, but like, oh, one of my favorite candles. Definitely going to repurchase this. I like this better during when it's like colder, like the fall time. Definitely would repurchase this. Another candle that I went through, I actually finished last night, and it's this one wick candle from Bath and Body Works. It's the Mahogany and Teak Wood, and it has mahogany wood, iced lavender, and oak, and also has some essential oils in it. Oh, this one smelled really good too. It also smells really cologne-y. I know that's really weird. That's just kind of like the scent I like. I like floral or like, you know, cologne scents. It just smells so good. It smelled really good in the house too. This wasn't as strong as this because I have it in the living room, so it didn't give off as much. At least I didn't feel like because I'm always in my house. I mean, when I went back and forth, I would smell it, but I feel like the three-wick candles are also obviously a lot stronger, but I definitely would recommend these, especially if you are kind of... Don't want to spend a lot of money on the three wick candles. These are really good too because these last me a lot longer than three wick, obviously because it's one wick, but <laughs> so good. For face wash, another one. I purchased this face wash a long time ago and it's the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. This cost me about $38, I believe. And I thought I was feeling a difference in my skin the more I used it, but I started noticing once I started paying close attention, um, I did feel like it cleaned my skin and it did melt the makeup off of my face. Like if I had any le leftover like eye makeup, any mascara, eyeliner, things like that. I felt that it did melt it off. But when it came to like my dryness, I, I just left the shower still with my face kind of like stiff where it didn't really give me any hydration in my skin. And that's what I feel like I look forward more. Not really like a makeup melting cleanser. I really want something that has hyaluronic acid or something that will give hydration back into my skin because I'm very dry. So... This didn't do it for me. I didn't even get to fully finish it because the the face wash I actually have now, it once I used that one, I felt a complete difference than when I was using this. Like it's a big difference now. And that one is a drugstore face facial cleanser and it's a lot cheaper than this. Like this is high end, $38. That was a lot cheaper. It's probably like half the price and it works so much better, which I will talk about later, but Yes, this, uh, it doesn't, it didn't really excite me. It didn't really do much for my skin. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this, especially because it was so expensive and it didn't do much. And I'm in love with the facial cleanser I'm using now. So sorry. 
Now another shampoo and conditioner, this is from the Garnier Whole Blends Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I got the avocado oil and shea butter extracts. It's supposed to deeply replenish and restore your hair. I actually really like this one. I like the scent as well because I love avocado in general, but like I know it's good for your hair and your skin. And it has shea butter, which I love as well, especially in my lotions. I really like that. So this was really good for my hair. It left my hair really hydrated, really soft. It was easy to brush through and it smelled really, really good. It didn't dry out my hair at all. So definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a drugstore shampoo and conditioner. I always struggle with like my hair being dry and I need something to smooth it out and this really did the job. So I would definitely repurchase this in the future, but probably not that soon because I like to experiment and try out different shampoos and body washes and stuff. But if I ever really need one and I don't have a new one to try, then I'll definitely repurchase this. Another candle that I found at the very bottom that I totally forgot about is another Bath & Body Works three wick candle. It's the scent flannel. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite candle ever. Like it smells so delicious. It has fresh berg bergamot. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm really bad. Heirloom mahogany, again with the mahogany, I like mahogany, and soft musk. That's what I want, like, musky. Oh my gosh, this is so good, you guys. If you like a really musky, really cologne, not super cologne but a very musky scent, this is so good for, like, the fall time as well. Like, you can imagine sitting by your fireplace and just having this candle burning or something like that, or, I don't know, sitting in your living room with a blanket, fuzzy socks, reading a book, and having this burn. Oh, it's delicious. I definitely recommend this candle if you guys have not tried it. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Now I got the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish and this is the Pomegranate Seeds and Shea Butter one. I like this stuff for exfoliating my body. I just get very lazy, but I did finish this one. This has a really odd consistency. I've talked about this in my last product empties, I believe. I already put this one in there, but um, this has a weird consistency. It's kind of like a ice cream meets whipped cream consistency meets yogurt i don't know it's a really weird consistent it, it kind of kind of reminds me of kind of sort of melted ice cream not super melted but you know kind of in the warm side mixed with whipped cream that is kind of an odd consistency but i like it it smells really good and it leaves my skin really soft really creamy i love why, why would my legs be creamy this is really creamy but i really like this i definitely recommend you guys should try these out they have other scents right now i think i have the kiwi one I just haven't, or cucumber or is it kiwi? I'm not sure. I haven't used it in a while and I really should, but they're really good if you guys are looking for exfoliators. Oh, this is so good. Another shampoo and conditioner that I didn't even finish. These are still kind of full. Well, at least the shampoo one is. This is the OGX Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco shampoo and conditioner. I love OGX. I like the one in the, in the gray silver bottle. That was my favorite. That's the one I'm using right now. Oh, I love that one. This one was okay. I like the scent. And I know it's cleaning my hair, but I don't know. My hair just, I don't know. I don't know. My hair just wasn't brushing as easy. It wasn't as nice as the other shampoos, but it is a good shampoo. I'm guessing because my hair's thick or it doesn't need renewal. Like this is supposed to help um, give strength, shine, and softness. I guess it's for shininess and I don't really look for that. I need something that's really going to nourish and restore and soften my hair, but this doesn't really do that as much. So I wasn't really a big fan of this, but if you guys are looking for a shine, I guess I would recommend, but I do like the OGX shampoo and conditioner. It's just this one's not one of my favorites. Now I went through one, two, three, four, five makeup removers. These are my favorite makeup remover wipes. They do such a good job, yada, yada, yada. I don't need to keep continuing on and I dropped the other one, but you guys already know how much I love these, so I can move on. <laughs> I went through another Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I have the Secret Active Invisible Spray. It's a deodorant. I, the, I have this ongoing, this relationship going on with my armpits where some things work, some things don't, or some things work, but they don't work well with my body chemistry. This was okay. I don't really like the scent of it. It wasn't fresh at all. It did help me not sweat as much, but the scent is just, it, it was no, it was a no. It wasn't fresh. I didn't feel clean. It's just, no, no, no. Another shampoo by Dove. This is the Morning Blossom one. This one smelled really nice. I didn't really remember this much, but I mean, usually the Dove body washes are really good on my skin. They leave me really soft and smooth, so I don't really know what else to say about this. 
Then I went through this Eagle Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo, and there's a bunch of cat hair on it. I really apologize. That's disgusting. I'm not going to show it anymore. But um, yeah, this is a really good sh uh, shampoo for my brushes. It really cleans them out. Of course, if there are stains on my brushes or anything, it's not going to take it out because they're stained. But it does help me clean my brushes super fast. So I really like it, and I keep purchasing it because it's really good. And I don't mind the scent. The scent's pretty good. So Oh, and it's free of parabens and phthalates and it's dermatologist tested and I'm just reading whatever it says on the bottle and it's cruelty free. So I never, I didn't read that. Oh, it has glycerin in it. It has a bunch of stuff that I didn't even notice. Okay. Well, I really like this stuff. So you guys should definitely try it out if you guys are looking for a makeup brush shampoo. Of course, I went through a bottle of my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, my most favorite setting spray of all time. It really sets my makeup, really lasts, makes my makeup last for a long time. All right, I went through one, two, and three bottles of the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I really like this eye makeup remover. It really takes off my makeup, my eye makeup really well without like ma like making my eyes burn or making them itch or anything like that. It really does a great job on taking off the makeup. So I definitely recommend this if you guys want an eye makeup remover. It doesn't burn or anything. It just does what it's supposed to do. It just takes off your eye makeup, mascara, liner, eyeshadow, whatever you have on your eyes, it's going to take it off. I love this. And it doesn't have a really strong scent. So obviously it's not going to like hurt. Oh, and it says no oily residue. So that is very true. I like this stuff. You guys, I will definitely recommend I also have the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Micellar Cleansing Water. It is a three-in-one gentle cleanser and it's supposed to remove waterproof makeup, effectively clean, cleanses and purifies. I like this to take off my face makeup. I do not recommend you using this on your eye makeup. I did it once before. I didn't think about it, but it burned pretty bad on my eyes. So do not use this on your eyes. I only use it on my face, specifically like in my pore area. Like I use uh, the Neutrogena face wipes first and then I go in with my eye makeup remover and take off any eye makeup and then I use this to take any face makeup off my face and you guys this does a great job taking out the face makeup like I would like, like use one to two of the makeup wipes you know depending on how much makeup I had that day and then I would go in with this and honestly after using these wipes and then going in with this like I didn't imagine how much makeup I had left in my pores because this takes a lot out I really like it I don't really like the like it kind of leaves a slight residue on your skin which i don't really like it feels kind of weird but you can rinse it off and um yeah it does a really good job with taking off your makeup though so i really recommend and these bottles usually last me a while and i've been repurchasing these a lot i have one over there still so really like this now i have the pixie rose tonic rose and elderflower nourishing toner i used to use this so much but it just got too Frustrating having to go into Target all the time, especially because Target's a little further from my home. Well, obviously everything's further from my home, but like further into town than like Ulta or like Walmart is. And I don't want to go in there just to get this um, toner, so I just stopped using it, but I did like it. It did a really good job with my redness. I have slight redness here going on in my face, and this did a really good job on calming it down and not make it so red, if that makes sense. So definitely recommend these if you have a closer target to you and you have a problem with redness. This did a great job to my skin. It didn't do anything weird where it like irritated my skin or made the redness even worse or it didn't have a slight tackiness or residue to it. So I really like this stuff for that. I always try to find a bigger bottle, but I can never find a bigger bottle of this. There's, there's always just these small little bottles, but I still rent and repurchased it because it helped more with my redness. So. Definitely recommend if you guys are looking for one. Got some makeup products, of course. I went through my Tarte Shape Tape. I went through a lot of those. Like, I scraped so much of this on the sides that I can't get any more, like... And it's just getting to the point where I feel like I've used the doe foot applicator so much that I feel like there might be, like, you know... See, because, like, it's just getting dry and it's just, I can't get them anymore. But these are so good. You guys already know. My favorite concealer ever. So, definitely went through those. Went through one of the Voluminous Slash Paradise Mascaras from L'Oreal. My favorite mascara. It really does a great job on lengthening and volumizing my lashes. I love it, especially because my lashes, they're long, but they're really straight. They have no curl to them, and this does a great job on lifting them and holding the curl for me. I love this. And I went through three Anastasia Brow Wiz <laughs> um, brow pencils. I just noticed that I went through three. I spent a lot of money on brow pencils. And I can definitely tell you that I am not going to be repurchasing these. I know, I know, I said that these are my favorite, I know. But the brow pencil that I've been loving, that is $5, $5. 
way cheaper than this is the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencils. Those are so good. And a drugstore pencil finally has a dark enough shade for me. So I'm going to keep repurchasing that pencil because this was expensive, but I could not find a pencil that worked really well and was dark enough for me. And the ColourPop Brow Pencil did just that. So sorry, Anastasia. I loved you and you did a great job, but I have to move on. Went through one of the bottles of the uh, Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundations in the shade Classic Ivory. You guys already know, this is my favorite foundation so far. Very full coverage. Oh, I love this so much. Now, I went through a moisturizer. There's like cat hair all over this stuff. And I apologize if that grosses some people out. But I do have two cats and the cat hair is going to get everywhere. So I'm sorry. So I went through the Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. And it's an ultra light moisturizer with vitamins, antioxidants, and natural oils. Let me tell you, I love this moisturizer. I definitely have repurchased this. I have another bottle over there. This is my favorite moisturizer. It is very lightweight. It definitely moisturizes my skin so nicely. I love it. I feel so nice, hydrated. My skin feels really smooth, feels really clean. I love this moisturizer. Definitely recommend it. It's not super expensive. I think it was like 20 something dollars maybe but I use this in the morning and at night before makeup and when I get a shower and stuff you know and my nighttime routine I definitely use this I use this moisturizer and then I put the Aveeno uh, max glow drops on top of it and this is such a good combination for really hydrated and glowy skin oh, so nice I guess you can try it out if you're good looking for a great moisturizer of course I like moisturizers a little cheaper but it's only 20 something and it does last me a while I mean it's 4.7 fluid ounces so that's pretty good so it does last me a long time so I love this stuff then I have this Aveeno, I have a lot of Aveeno in this in this video. Aveeno Active Naturals Absolutely ages, Ageless can I talk? Eye Cream, and it's supposed to help improve visible lines of aging areas around the eyes, and it does have Blackberry Complex. I like this stuff. I just, I just don't know if it does anything for me. I don't know if eye creams do anything for me in general. I don't know. I have another one that I'm using. I guess that one feels very nice, but I don't remember if this did anything for me. So I don't know if I would recommend this to you guys. But let me know if you guys have an eye cream that is not super pricey, but is pretty decent. Um, an eye cream that will pretty that'll work with like hydrating my under eyes, fine lines, wrinkles, things like that. If you guys have one, can you let me know? Because I don't know if this did anything for me. So I'm still on the hunt for one. So just let me know if you guys have one that I should try. God, these are disgusting, but these are hair masks, and this is the Not Your Mother's, I talked about this one, Not Not Your Mother's Beach Bay Butter Mask, and I also have the Hask, yep, yep, it's the Unwind Hask Repair and Moisture Deep Conditioner, these are my two favorite brands for um, hair masks, the Not Your Mother's and the Hask, I love these two, these are so nice, they leave my hair so soft and smooth, really hydrated, it really does what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to help your hair, Oh, I love these two and they're they're not expensive they're like a dollar fifty I think so they last me a while especially because my hair is not as long anymore um they're like a dollar fifty and I probably use like half you know for one week and half for the other week that's so good a little goes a long way as well so don't think you need to use like the whole pouch for a whole hair so really good really 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 good hair masks oh my gosh this is what happens when my cats get into my stuff and then there's like stickiness all over the place and it's just oh it's so gross i'm sorry you guys you have to see this but i have these wander beauty baggage claim gold masks that i got in my boxy charm a while ago i don't know if this did anything for me because i only tried them like once or twice so i'm not going to mention anything about it but i did use it and i have these neutrogena um Hydrogel masks. These are really cool masks because they're like jelly. They're not jelly, but they're like gel masks. It's not it's not like a sheet mask. It's like gel, so it's pretty cool. I like the brightening one. I don't feel like it did too. Whoops. I don't feel like it did too too much. And I really like the hydrating one. I really do like this one. This actually is supposed to have hyalur hyaluronic acid in it. Let me double check. Doesn't say anything about hyaluronic acid. I thought this one did. I guess not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Ah, deep clean. It's definitely not this one, but it has seaweed in it. This one was okay too. I don't really remember much about it, but I do like the masks. They feel really nice on the skin after you peel off the masks. These masks though, I always feel a tingling sensation when I feel these, but not in a way where it's like burning or like itching or anything like that or leaves me with redness, but these are really nice masks. These are the Pacifica brands. I have the Super Green Detox. This one had charcoal in it. I also have the Stress Rehab. This one had coconut green tea and caffeine. This one was really cool. I got the Energize Radiant Light one, the Hydration and Dreamy. This one was really good. 
And this one was just the Blue Algae Urban Defense Facial Mask. This one's really good too. These are really good masks. These, I actually feel like they're doing something to my skin, like something good, if that makes sense. And really, they just do what they're supposed to do, you know? And they're really affordable, really nice. I love these. I want to keep repurchasing them, but I haven't purchased masks in a long time. That's probably why my face is breaking out now that I think about it, because I haven't done masks in a very long time, so... I probably should get back on that, but these are really good masks. If you guys want to try them out, let me know if you guys do. Let me know if you like them. That was finally the end of my empties. The, like My desk is a mess and it is disgusting, and I do apologize, but I mean, I'm going to get rid of it. Thank goodness it's this video because I want to throw all that stuff away. But anyways, that brings us to the end of our video. Let me know if you guys like the product empties by hitting the like button. Also, let me know down below of any other products that I mentioned here. Have you guys tried them? Are you guys going to try them? What do you think about it? Or give me some products that you guys want me to try out. And like, could be skincare, candles, makeup, anything. I would love some recommendations that I could go try out new stuff. And yeah, um, I think that was pretty much everything from me. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Definitely forgot to say that. I do post videos every Thursday and Sunday at 10 a.m. PST just for you guys. And now I think that's everything from me. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.